Hey guys, welcome back to the next video of this entire series where we are talking about SharePoint Online. In the last video, we talked about document libraries in SharePoint Online. We discussed what is a document library, what is the use of document libraries in SharePoint, and we learned how to create document libraries in SharePoint Online. In this particular video, we will learn how to manage documents and files within document libraries. We will learn how to upload files and folders to document library. We will learn how to create new documents and folders within a document library and how to sync a document library and its files to your computer. In the last video, we created two document libraries, reports library and doc library. As we know, when we create a SharePoint site, we get a default document library, but we can create multiple document libraries as per our requirement. So let's go to one of the document libraries that we created. Let's go to reports library. If you want to upload a folder or a file within a document library, there are two ways. Either you can click upload and you can select the file or you can go to the location where the files are stored and you can simply drag and drop the files within the document library. So let's upload few files. I have few files in my system. And so first, let me drag and drop few files. So let's select the files, go to the SharePoint site and you can simply drop these files within the library. And here you can see it says uploading four files and all the files are successfully uploaded. And the other way to upload file is click upload, click files, go to the location where the files are and select the files that you want to upload and click open. And you can see the five items are being uploaded and all the files are uploaded successfully. In the same way, you can upload the folders within document library. Click upload, click folder and go to the location where the folders are. Like I have this folder that contains couple of files. So select the folder, click upload, upload. And you can see one item is being uploaded and three files. Those were inside this folder has been uploaded. You can click on the folder. And you can see three files are uploaded along with the folder. Now let's see how we can create new documents in document library. If you want to create a new document in document library, you don't have to create it on your machine and then upload it to the document library. You can create the documents directly within the document library. To create a new document within document library, click new. And from here, you can create a Word document, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, Forms. You can create all type of documents from here. So let's create a Word document. Click Word. This will open Word Online from where you can create a Word document. Now, when you make any changes within this document, you do not have to save this document manually. Word Online will save the changes automatically. Also, by default, the name of this document is document. If you want to rename this document, you can click here where it says document and you can type a name for this document here. For example, IT doc. And if you click this arrow, this will give you more options to save this document in a different location. For example, on the left, you can see the list of SharePoint sites in your tenant. You can save this file in a different sites document library, or if you have multiple document libraries within a particular site, you can save this file in a different library as well. Like in IT site, we have reports library and we have doc library. If I want to save this particular document in doc library, I'll select this library and I'll select move here and this document will be saved within this particular document library. So let's close this and let's create an Excel file. So we will click Excel workbook and this will open Excel online. You can create columns and rows within this file like you do in Excel application on your desktop. And if you want to rename this file, either you can click here 
or you can go back to document library right click on the file and click rename from here also you can rename this particular file if you want to create a new folder within document library click new select folder from here you can select the color code for a particular folder and give it a name for example it docs folder click create now the folder is ready now you can create files or you can move other files within this particular folder next we will learn how to sync a document library to your computer sometimes it might not be feasible for you to work on the documents directly within sharepoint online or you want to work on these documents on your desktop applications instead of online applications so that is really easy in sharepoint online you can sync the document library to your computer in a single click all you need to do is you need to install onedrive for business on your computer and within document library you need to click sync click open microsoft onedrive and it says we are syncing your files click close and let's go to onedrive location on our computer so here we can see office 365 concepts is my tenant name we have it reports library synced where it is the name of the sharepoint site and reports library is the name of the document library if you go back to sharepoint site you can see it is the name of our team site and reports library is the document library that we just synced with onedrive so here you can see all the files that you can see within the document library you can work on these documents from your computer itself and the changes that you will do within these documents from here will automatically sync to the document library in sharepoint online so that is all for now if you learned something new from this particular video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and if you have questions or suggestions feel free to write them in the comments below thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video